Hey y'all, today I have got some crock pot potato soup. So to start out with, y'all look at this fancy new knife I done got. I'm gonna try my best not to chop a finger off while I'm cutting this onion up over here. But I, y'all, I have another potato soup video that y'all know, well, some of y'all may know, and I did that one completely homemade, and you do it on the stove, you know, and cook it on the stove. Real easy recipe, and it's super, super delicious. But I came across this one, and it uses frozen hash browns instead of potatoes. And I don't always have potatoes at my house, but you know, you can just get hash browns and throw them in the freezer, and they'll just be in there for whenever. So I just thought I would share this one with y'all and you know just so you'd have another option but i'll link my original recipe or my original video down below for y'all too so you can check that one out if you want to but this one i don't know if i said already but it's a um it was a weight watchers recipe a channel that i came across randomly and if i can remember where i found it i'll link the video down below um but it it's really good y'all so all you're gonna do is dice you up an onion and then you're going to take just one bag of frozen hash browns. And this is, I think it's a 32 ounce bag, I think. But it's just a regular size, not like a big bag. And mine was still frozen, clearly, as you can see here. And I tried chopping it up with a spoon, but it was just flinging stuff everywhere. So I just got in there with my hands and it was super, super easy to break up. So don't try to break it up with a spoon, y'all. If yours are frozen, just go ahead and reach in there and just you know crumble it up with your hands because like I said see how easy it just crumbles right on up so just like I said get these crumbled up the best you can and then we're going to I found look at that a little piece of the you know sometimes I have a little piece of the peel it'd be like one or two little pieces and it just makes the whole pot look terrible so I just took that out so once you get your potatoes all broke up go ahead and just put your onion right over into your crock pot now, if you don't like big pieces of onion or you don't like this much onion, you can always use a little less or you can use onion flakes or onion powder, however you want to do it, whatever your family likes. So then I just went ahead and the recipe, she had put in just one of these containers of chicken broth. And when I did it, I was like, that don't look like a whole lot of chicken broth to me. But I try to follow the original recipe the very first time I make something. And this was the first time I had made this. And it, but I, I just couldn't, y'all. It just did not look like enough to me because I was not thinking that those hash browns were frozen and they were gonna release water as they cooked. But it don't matter, neither here nor there, right? And I uh, ended up with a lot of juice in my potato soup. But that's okay, because I like it that way. So I ended up adding one and a half of those 32 ounce containers of chicken broth and then i just mixed it up real good and then i'm gonna add in one can of cream of chicken soup and this is the um i think the 94 percent or the 98 percent fat free whatever it is but y'all this y'all know the last time i used this that i had gotten two cans at the tarjay and they're like darn soup i mean i know it's cream of chicken soup but i mean they usually come out in a big old solid gel plopping mess and this was just watery but i figured since the last can didn't kill me this one probably wouldn't either so i just went ahead and i went with it y'all just rolled right, right on with it so i went ahead and just put my can of soup right on in my crock pot and just stir that in really really good you want to get it make sure everything's good and mixed up because you want all them potatoes to be able to soak up all that good flavor then you're going to add you a little bit of garlic powder, and I don't know how much this is, teaspoon, tablespoon, half a cup, I don't, y'all know, sprinkle on some garlic powder. Then you're going to sprinkle on a little bit of onion powder. Now, if you didn't use an onion, if you didn't cut an onion up and put it in there, you might want to use just a little bit more onion powder, or like I said, you could use some onion flakes. So then I went ahead and added just a little bit of pepper, and I didn't add any salt because we had added the chicken broth and the cream of chicken soup and I didn't want it to be too salty so you just wait let it cook a little while and when you come back for the second step of this then you can taste it and if you need some more seasoning then you can go ahead and add it you know when you're when you're back in your crock pot doing something so just stir it around real good and then we're going to put the lid on this and we're going to let it cook 
I let it cook on high for about, I don't know, maybe two hours. And then once your little two hours is up, you're going to come on back, open it up. I didn't steam y'all out, y'all. I almost did. But go ahead, just kind of mix it around and then just kind of taste it right there. You know, get you a little tiny spoon and taste it. And if you need to add any more seasoning, you can go ahead and add you some more in there. So once you get to this step, go ahead and add in a quarter of a cup of milk and you can use whatever kind of milk you want. I mean, if you'd rather use heavy cream or whatever you got at your house, honey, you put it right on in there. I don't know if almond milk would work because y'all know I'm an almond milk. Uh, well, I don't drink it. I use it in stuff because, you know, I'm lactose intolerant. I told y'all that one time. But anyway, you'd think I'd be belly up somewhere with all this cheese I use, but here I am. So anyway, use whatever milk you got and then just a quarter of a cup. And then you're going to fight the cream cheese out of its package because, honey, it was fighting. You see that? But go ahead and just put in one block of cream cheese. And I had let this sit out on the counter you know, while my potatoes were cooking. So it was, you know, kind of soft, kind of room temperature. And just go ahead and put that in your crock pot. And I'm just kind of trying to break it up a little bit. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's all going to cook down. But I just feel like it cooks better if it's in littler pieces. And I knew with it being softened already, I wasn't going to be able to um, cut that anywhere. And y'all see, I was digging another little piece of uh, potato skin out of there. But anywho, just go ahead, get it mixed up the best you can. You can see the little chunks of cream cheese in there, but that's okay, y'all. They'll, they'll cook down. It'll be all right. Then you're going to put your lid back on, and I turned it on low, and I let it cook for the rest of the day. I probably let it cook another six hours. And then this is it. This is what it looks like when it gets done. And like I said, I added a little extra, so I have a little extra broth in mine. But I just sprinkled a little cheese and a little piece of bacon right over the top. I would have put green onions, but I didn't have any. But it's delicious, y'all. So make sure you give it a try. I'm going to put y'all another video right over here. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.